Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today we're going to make a vegan chicken roast filled with stuffing and apple. So here are the ingredients. One can of chickpeas, including the water. One tablespoon of vegan chicken stock powder. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. 2 cups of vital wheat gluten, 1 teaspoonful of garlic powder, 1 packet of stuffing, 2 onions chopped and sweated down, and 2 apples. Okay, once we've steamed down and slightly sautéed our onions, the process really is quite simple. We're going to combine all the ingredients except the gluten flour, and then we're going to blend that to a smooth uh, consistency. So first up, I'll put in the onions. Next, one can of chickpeas, I'm going to include the water, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, one dessert spoonful of our vegan chicken stock powder. If you don't have the vegan chicken powder, you could also use bouillon, but this works really well. It's got a really nice chicken flavour and it's completely vegan. So one spoonful there, in you go. About a dessert spoonful of garlic and about a dessert spoonful of soft brown sugar. So I've got all my ingredients in here, that's everything apart from the gluten wheat flour. Close it up, let's blend. Right now, fully blended, let's have a nice smooth consistency and a bit of a taste. Yeah, that's lovely. The next step is quite straightforward. All I'm going to do is combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And for that, I'm going to use my food processor. I'm going to use the plastic blade. If you have one of the ones that have a blade that allow you to knead, that would be even better. But I don't, so use what you've got. If you don't have a food processor, you can just do this part by hand. I'm going to add in two cups of gluten and then our wet ingredients. Top on and mix. Okay, so this is what we end up with, our flavoured gluten. Now I want this quite soft, not completely stiff, because I want it to be quite a succulent roast. So I'm just going to work it a little bit just to kind of bring it all together. In the food processor, sometimes you can separate off into little chunks. I'm just going to bring it all together, a little bit of kneading. Feels so nice as well. So I'm going to knead this for about two or three minutes. Then I'm going to place it in the fridge to kind of help all the gluten sort of come together as one solid blob. The next step is just to sort out our stuffing. Now for this, I'm using a regular shop-bought stuffing. It's pretty cheap, really quick to make. And if making Christmas dinner, I don't want to make everything long-winded. We could make our own stuffing. Uh, maybe I'll show how to do it in another video. But for now, I'm just using a regular Tesco stuffing. And to be honest with you, it's really tasty. 400 ml of boiling water, then leave. It absorbs all the water and sets. Now if I was doing this just for myself alone, I'd love to add some, um, maybe some roasted cashew nuts or pistachios in here, but um, some members of my family are allergic to nuts, so I'm going to have to leave the nuts out just so everyone can have a taste. So I'm just going to cover this, leave it for about five or ten minutes, and in the meantime, it gives me enough time to chop up my apples, which also are going to be part of the filling. So we have our stuffing. Just going 
do this part by hand. So a generous amount of stuffing in the middle. Now I'm not going to go right to the very end because I want to be able to seal it so it can, everything can cook inside. But I've got a nice, big, fat, generous amount of, of stuffing there. And to give it a little bit of sweetness, next to the stuffing is my roll of apples. Now these should just stew down lovely when it's being cooked. So you get a nice little bit of, sounds like having built-in apple sauce. So now we've got our filling in. I'm going to put a little bit of rock seasoning, rock salt, in the centre. I'm going to put a little bit of vital light in the middle, keep the centre nice and succulent. And now, close it all up. This is the tricky part. The other thing about gluten, it is kind of very stretchy by nature. So we'll stretch to close. That's closed up well. This is a, this is a big roast. Now, a roast this size could easily feed about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just before I bake it, just before I cook it, I want it to sit a little bit longer in the fridge. So I'm going to wrap it up first of all. I'll wrap it up in some foil. Make sure it's it's well sealed. So I'm going to leave it in the fridge, and then we'll come back for the cooking part. Okay, our roast now has been resting in the fridge for a bit of a while actually, because I had to nip out and come back. So it's actually been in the fridge for a couple hours. So let's just kind of have a look at it, see what we're dealing with. Now initially, I was going to just steam it in a pan, but I've got a different idea. There's a, a YouTuber by the name of uh, Gaz Oakley. He's got a channel called uh, The Avant Garde Vegan. He's got some great ideas, and uh, I'm gonna use part of one of his ideas and not, uh, to in terms of how to cook this. In fact, I'm going to use quite a few of his, his recipes actually because he's got some really nice ideas on his channel, The Avant Garde Vegan, so I'd like to promote that a little bit. He's a, he's a young guy and he's got some fantastic ideas. He's got a vegan bacon idea which I'm going to adapt and uh, part of the idea for this particular dish I, I got from watching his channel. So I'm going to cook it in a method that he's recommended because I think it's a, a pretty nice idea. So I'm going to unwrap our stuffed chicken. Then here, I've got a mixture of herbs and spices. The exact blend I'll put in the, in the details. Well, I'm just going to lay some of these out. And then I'm going to roll our roast. We get all the flavour from those herbs and spices on the outside. So that's looking really nice and tasty. So that's so all the flavour wrapped in. Now, how to cook it? If you have some cheesecloth, that's fine. This is like a bit like cheesecloth, but it's a little bit thicker. It's all I had. And I'm going to put it inside. it up. Now wrapping it in this allows it to keep its shape while still allowing flavour to get to it because we're going to cook this 
in a bit of a broth. Okay, so our roast is nicely wrapped up inside our muslin. Uh, the muslin is there to help it keep its shape, but it's porous so that uh, it can absorb flavor while it's being cooked. So I'm gonna cook our roast inside of a pan. If you've got a larger dish, use a larger dish, but this happens to be the largest thing I actually have. So it's nicely wrapped. I'm gonna place it in this here. It's the largest thing I actually physically had, so it only just about fits in. And now, for our flavor. Now put some onions in around. A bit of garlic. And a bit of thyme. And then I've got some vegetable stock. Using that same vegetable based chicken flavor stock. And I'm gonna pour it right all the, all the way over. I'm gonna cover it with some foil and put it in the oven to cook for about an hour. And about halfway through, I'll turn it over. And we're back out of the oven. Take the lid off. And here we have our roast. Now it's swelled up quite a bit because it's absorbed. Remember we had a, half this was filled with liquid. And I think it's, it's absorbed all the liquid. And it's now quite firm. Still boiling hot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it sit for a while to cool down. Then we're gonna have a slice and see what it looks like on the inside. So I'm just gonna open this thing up a little bit. Cut the string off. Okay, let's open this thing up and see what it looks like. Woo! Looky, looky. And there we have our roast. I must say, it does look mighty good. Okay. Our roast is out. It's not completely cool. It's had time to cool a little bit. So I wanted to slice it open just to see what it looks like with the stuffing. Now, I don't know what it's going to come out like, but let's give it a shot. Oh, wow. So we can see our stuffing, our little chunks of apple. See on the inside. There we have it. Our chicken right there on the outside with our lovely stuffing on the inside. I think I've called that a pretty good job. Ow, it's a little bit hot. Now I'm going to let, let this cool. I'm going to let, let it cool first and then I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to put it in the fridge until Christmas. On the actual day, what I could what I'd probably do is I may brush this with a little bit of oil and heat it up in the oven, so it almost roast it a little bit. Put some foil around it and just roast it in the oven so it gets a nice roasting on the outside. Or I might even just pan roast it. So put a little oil in a pan and roast it round so it gets a nice browning on the outside. But it's cooked all the way through, so it's really just about heating it up. Very, very meaty, meaty looking consistency. I think that's worked out really well. It smells fantastic as well. And there we have it, our vegan chicken filled with stuffing and apple. And it's come out really, really well. The herbs, the smell, fantastic. Now I'm not gonna eat it now because that's for Christmas and that's in a, in a couple of days time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it, let it cool, I wrap it, cool it, wrap it up, stick it in the fridge. And then what I'll do is I'll take it out on Christmas and we'll slice it up. And maybe we'll get a few shots of what it's like around the dinner table. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching. Uh, Food Tech 101 is now available on Facebook and Instagram. And you can also contact us at admin at foodtech101.co.uk. As always, my name is Mr. Lybird. For you, you can call me Sir. Of things we know.